What are some of the best red wines for beginners? Well, in part three of this series, The Best Red Wines, we're going to talk about Merlot. Merlot's origins can be traced back to the Bordeaux region of France, and to this day, it's still one of the main two grapes used in Bordeaux wines. Now, the name is similar to the French word Merle, which is a blackbird, and that makes sense when you see the grape clusters because they're really dark black and blue. If Cabernet Sauvignon can be considered king of all wines, then Merlot is probably queen of all wines. They're both neck and neck as far as the most planted red grapes in the world at over 700,000 acres each. More recently, Merlot has kind of fallen out of popularity and a lot of people in the industry suspect that it has something to do with the movie Sideways. It's called the Sideways Effect. Um, the movie sort of dissed Merlot a little bit. People in the industry say that sales dropped off significantly after that movie. I think that's a shame if that's true because Merlot makes some of the most delicious and most celebrated wines in the world. The one thing that Merlot is definitely known for is its soft, velvety, and smooth texture. And for that reason, it's often used to smooth out more austere grapes like Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, in places like Bordeaux, France, where the weather is variable and the harvest is different every year, winemakers hedge their bets a little bit by blending grapes together. That's why in Bordeaux, you'll see it used primarily as a blending grape. There are a few places in Bordeaux that make 100% Merlot-based wines, and they're some of the most famous and expensive in the world. A rare vintage of Chateau Petrus, for example, may fetch up to $5,000 or $6,000 a bottle. It's probably no surprise that Merlot is genetically related to Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Malbec. All those grapes are grown in the same region of France. Merlot is now grown all over the world, so anywhere where they make wine, you're going to find a Merlot. So what does Merlot taste like? Well, like all grapes, it depends on where it's grown, but like Cabernet Sauvignon, it's big and bold and juicy. And while it does have some tannins, it's more velvety and smooth and has lower acids than Cabernet. Common flavor descriptions say it's like drinking black cherries, red currants, and even blueberries. Like Cabernet, if it grows in a cooler climate, it can exhibit some green flavors, green bell peppers, and even tomato leaf. In warmer climates, it tends to get very ripe and therefore higher in alcohol, really stewed and jammy and extracted. Much like Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot is big and bold and goes well with proteins. I'd pair it up with some grilled meats, some pork and even poultry too. Try it with some duck. Now fans of pairing wine and chocolate will be happy to know that Merlot is soft enough to go with some of the sweeter chocolates, like ganaches and milk chocolate for example. You can get affordable Merlot from almost anywhere in the world these days, but if you're looking for something slightly different, look to places like Italy. For example, this one is from Tuscany. This Merlot is from Israel. And this one over here is from Chile. And in the United States, places like Washington State, Long Island, New York, believe it or not, Virginia State, and even my home state of Pennsylvania. All right, everybody, thanks so much for hanging out and discussing Merlot with me. If you'd like to see me do a video about another great red wine for you to try, give me some comments below and I'll see what I can do about that. And if you haven't already, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, and that way you'll get notifications on when I release these videos. Stay tuned, and as always, don't forget to take a little time out of every day to drink something special. Take care. Cheers.